Mind your decisions, Presh Tallwalker here. Start with the circle. Draw a chord, and then draw another chord that makes a 30 degree angle with this chord. Then draw another chord that's 30 degrees apart. If the chord on the left has a length of 10, and the chord on the right has a length of 12, what is the length of the chord in the middle, whose value is x? I saw a similar problem on Reddit homework help. Pause the video if you'd like to give it a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. We'll solve this problem by working in steps. First focus on this part of the diagram. This is a 30 degree inscribed angle corresponding to this arc of the circle. If we have another inscribed angle for the same arc, it'll have the same measure by the inscribed angle theorem. So this inscribed angle will be 30 degrees. Now we'll do a similar thing for this inscribed angle. It corresponds to this arc of the circle Therefore, this inscribed angle will also measure 30 degrees. Now go back to the diagram and focus on this isosceles triangle. The sides opposite the 30 degree angles will be equal to each other, and let's say each of them has a value of y. We'll go back to the original diagram, and now we can focus on just this quadrilateral. We'll break it down into two different triangles. For the triangle on the right, we can use Alkashi's law of cosines to get that y squared is equal to 12 squared plus x squared minus 2 times 12 times x times the cosine of 30 degrees. We'll do a similar thing for this triangle, and we get y squared is equal to 10 squared plus x squared minus 2 times 10 times x times cosine of 30 degrees. We now have a system of two equations. We'll subtract the second equation from the first. The y squared terms will cancel out, and the x squared terms will cancel out. So we're left with 0 is equal to 12 squared minus 10 squared, and then we have to be careful here. We have a negative 24x cosine of 30 degrees minus a negative, so that'll become a positive 20x cosine of 30 degrees. So that results in negative 4x cosine of 30 degrees. We now solve this equation. We rearrange the equation and then solve for x, and that simplifies to b. 22 divided by the square root of 3. And that's our answer. And if we go back to the original diagram, there's another way that we can write it. x is equal to the simple average of 10 and 12 divided by the cosine of 30 degrees. In fact, we can generalize this formula. Suppose we have a valid diagram with chords of a and b, and this angle is equal to theta. You can actually prove, using the same method in this video, that x is equal to the simple average of a and b divided by the cosine of theta. The middle chord is the simple average or arithmetic mean multiplied by an adjustment factor of 1 over the cosine of theta. It's like we've discovered a new type of average of how chord lengths progress in a circle. It's not technically new because someone probably will have discovered it thousands of years ago, but it was new to me and that's the joy of discovery in mathematics. Thanks for making Mind Your Decisions one of the best channels on YouTube. As always, thanks for watching and thanks for your support.